Good morning, good afternoon. I think some of those of you who are standing could take a seat over in a chair if you'd like to. Welcome. My name is Ann Warner Cribbs. I'm a 1960 Olympian, but in swimming, not ping pong. And I'm the president and CEO of the, Cal of the San Francisco Bay Area Sports Organizing Committee, known as BASOC. We are so honored to be part of this 40th anniversary celebration of ping pong diplomacy. And we're so honored to welcome this delegation from China. Welcome. The promotion of peace and goodwill through sports is a core value of BASOC and, of course, of the Olympic movement. Ping pong diplomacy is absolutely what I love about the Olympic Games because it brings the world together through sport. And ping pong diplomacy is probably the best demonstration of the power of sport and diplo diplomacy over the last 50 years, so I congratulate all of you. And last night, I should say that it's important for all of us to remember the past. We had a wonderful party. Thank you, Rose Pack, and thank you, Mayor, last night uh, watching the fireworks. And I got a fortune cookie. And my fortune said this, good fortune will come to those who treasure items from the past. And that's what we're doing here today with a celebration of ping pong diplomacy. So now I'd like to introduce um, some of the guests who are in the audience who will not speak but be introduced. Susan Lyons, USOC board member. Suzanne, welcome. Peter Scudner, president of the United States Table Tennis Association. Mike Cavanaugh, the CEO of USA Table Tennis. Cynthia Geyer, a director from the State Department. Welcome, Cynthia. Dennis Davis, Palo Alto Table Tennis Club and the United States Olympic Committee Coach of the Year. Rose Pack. Rose, where are you? Rose, what a wonderful party you put on last night. It was absolutely outstanding, and thank you. Bruce Pickering, the executive director of the Asia Society of Northern California, who's helped us with the forum. Sue Lee, the executive director of the Chinese Historical Society. And then the Olympians in the audience, if I could ask you to stand. From China, Zhang Yining, right here. And Lu Gozhang. Lu, thank you. And Mr. Willie Banks, track and field, not ping pong. And Willie is the president of the United States Olympic Alumni Organization. And our future Olympian, Ariel, who was just following out here. Ariel, where are you? Wave to everybody, Ariel. We have, we have watched Ariel grow up, and we're so awfully proud of her. Mr. Michael Anderson, representing the International Table Tennis Federation and head of junior development. And now it's my great honor to introduce our mayor, Mayor Ed Lee. We're so grateful for his support. When we found out the delegation was coming here, Mayor, I went to you and I said, can you help us? And what a big help he has been. And we also found out that Mayor Lee plays a bit of ping pong himself. So we're looking forward to seeing that. Mayor Lee, the show is all yours. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Welcome. Welcome to City Hall. And welcome to our celebration of the 40th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy. Uh, I want to also welcome Supervisor Eric Maris here, too, from our Board of Supervisors. Thank you, Eric, for being here. I know he has a wealth of uh, Chinese residents, but residents in the whole district that want to play ping pong this year. I uh, wanted to welcome everyone here, and certainly my good friend, Council General Gao, uh, from our Council General in China, Mr. Tsai, who's the head of the Table Tennis Association in China. Thank you very much for being here. That wonderful guest from our Bay Area Sports Organizing Committee and the uh, United States Table Tennis Association. Thank you very much for being here as well. 40 years ago, I was studying really hard in college. And uh, I was actually studying about China and wondering uh, where my parents came from and what they were doing in those years and what caused them to come to America. And, uh, give birth to six kids and start us on our journeys in our own education. And now, uh, 40 years later, I find myself here as the luckiest mayor of any great city in, San, in the whole United States, being the mayor of San Francisco. And to be part of this really wonderful historic connection between 
our country and the People's Republic of China. And to be, of course, celebrating with our citizens here to be the first Asian American mayor in the city. And this all comes together in the same year. And Anita and I were talking about it uh, so many times the past few weeks as we were getting excited about this visit uh, to really have the uh, athletes that were here and perhaps some of the athletes and the representatives that were here 40 years ago uh, that were looking at each other wondering what history would be, what relations they would be with two of the most important countries of the world and finding out uh, what we could do to open up a relationship and a dialogue and it took this sport of ping pong. You know, today we, were, we could be thinking it could be anything. It could be baseball, it could be track and field, it could be golf, for that matter. If you've heard about golf in China, you'll know that's burgoining extremely fast. But 40 years ago, it took a couple of players uh, looking at each other, talking, and then eventually talking team sports, and eventually allowing uh, President Nixon and uh, Chairman Mao Zedong and the people uh, between them to open up a dialogue in this relationship. That is historic. That is what uh, caused me to not only study China, uh, to study my own roots and my family, but to make a commitment uh, that I can do my best here as a, as a, a born in the United States and being an American. Uh, what could I do to contribute to our country's understanding of foreign relations? Um, and just fast forward 40 years, I didn't expect that I would be the head of an international city, a city that's known for its uh, relations, not just as an American city, but a city that offers uh, relationships uh, between the People's Republic of China and the people of the United States and offering cultural exchanges as well as sports changes. And I'm constantly reminded of that because we have a chief of protocol uh, that uh, uh, Charlotte Schultz has been such a wonderful, wonderful uh, participant in our government here and to make sure that we keep attention as an international city. So I find myself at uh, a part of history uh, being very, very lucky to be the mayor of the city at this time and uh, also finding ourselves to be so fortunate that we remember uh, 40 years of history, 40 years of uh, building relationships between our two countries. And I still continue to feel that I'm a student of this activity. Uh, because there's so much in our futures in our country working with China to understand how we could help in that relationship, help people to people, culture to culture, and then to realize that we are, as a city, a gateway to so much of this activity and making sure that we can celebrate this but also helping to continue improving relationships, improving dialogue between the two countries. We understand that that is important. And so if through programs like China SF and what we do here in San Francisco in our great city to welcome businesses, uh, both American business as well as businesses out of China to come here to their city and establish offices, create relationships, create communications and information so that we can as a country sell the products that we create here, whether it's technology, clean tech, biotech, but also welcome Chinese businesses, help them establish their markets here as well as they continue to contribute dramatically to the economy of the world. We will continue to want to do that and to build uh, our city the way we can build it as an international city. So I want to all wel welcome all of you here to this historic occasion, uh, to one where we know San Francisco can really be very proud of, and that is uh, hosting the 40th uh, celebration of international diplomacy of ping pong diplomacy. Uh, and I want to, uh, at this time, uh, uh, give a proclamation to perhaps Mr. Chai as the representative of, of the uh, Table Tennis Association in China. On this occasion, Mr. Chai, uh, it's my privilege, and I know you're a world champion. You're a five-time world champion. So I'm not going to shake your hand too hard, <laughs> but I'm also going to take this uh, privilege and honor on behalf of San Francisco to provide you, and Council General Gao, please come up too as well, uh, you with this proclamation. And it has, of course, a lot of the whereases that, that uh, depict our history here. But I would like to, as the mayor of San Francisco, on behalf of the people of this great city and county, in celebration and in re recognition of the official 40th anniversary commemorating 
ping pong diplomacy we do by proclaim July 5th, 2011 as ping pong diplomacy day in San Francisco. Thank you. So please welcome Mr. Shang from the, come, come, from the uh, Chinese Table Tennis President of the T Table Tennis Association and the Vice President of the Chinese Olympic Committee. Welcome. Uh, 各位新闻这个街的朋友们, 大家下午好. 因美国奥委会和美国乒乓球协会的邀请, 我随中国 Friends of former media, good afternoon. Well, this afternoon is a very special moment at the invitation of the U.S. Olympic Committee and also U.S. Table Tennis Association. I take the Chinese Table Tennis and Olympic Committee to make a very special trip here today to join you for the celebration of the ping-pong diplomacy. Uh, 40年前, 中美两国印度员在日本名古屋第31届世界乒乓球锦标赛期间的一次意外先一户, 重温当年的经典时刻,令人感到无比的自豪和亲切. Oh, Forty years ago, uh, the athletes, the play, table tennis players from both U.S. and China met incidentally in Nagoya during the 31st World Championships. And it is because of that incidental encounter uh, among the athletes and the, between the players, we suddenly opened the door. And this door opened something remarkable for our future in terms of the relationship between U.S. and China. And 40 years later, and this afternoon, the players from uh, the old time and the new time came together to celebrate this remarkable moment. I feel very, very honored and very pleased. And I just feel a kind of a family reunion. Thank you. Tsu 维斯康西大学这个读书uh, let me say something about our delegation. Well, this delegation is consisting of the three generations. And you might notice that we have the first generation who participated in the ping pong diplomacy 40 years ago, who are uh, Mr. Liang Geliang, Zheng Huayin, and Yang Jun. And also, we have the, the middle generation, who are also our national player, uh, Ms. Zhang Yinying. Who, uh, who is studying at the uni uh, University of Wisconsin, Madison, right now. 
and also Mr. Liu Guozhen, who just finished his study in U.S., now in China. And he's on the delegation. And the third generation of delegation uh, is uh, two young ladies. They are representing the future of uh, the friendship and the relationship. So this is a very good combination of uh, our delegation. And it symbolizes the deep relationship and the traditional friendship between the two countries, especially in the circle of table tennis. Chung 和青少年体育等方面开展丰富多彩形式多样的交流活动以体育活动丰富中美人文交流的内涵促进两国人民的友谊夯实中美关系友好关系的基础The celebration ping pong diplomacy is also one of the important events recommended by U.S.-China consultation on people-to-people -people exchange. And this mechanism is uh, supported by the two presidents of our countries uh, year before last year. We very much like to use this mechanism to deepen our well-established relationship between the sports circle and also people in general. And also we want to make a very good use of the experience and resources from both sides to further development, further develop the areas of the elite sports, mass sports, traditional sports, and sports industry. Well, this is a very good moment for us to deepen our cooperation in through the means of the mechanism for people-to-people -people exchange. And I would like to emphasize, especially, the importance of the cooperation. In the, in the circle of the sport and also the broaden and the necessity of the broad, broadening the cooperation between the two countries. Uh,为了感谢旧金山市政府,特别是李市长,我们这次体育代表团的专门也这个,呃,制作了两样礼物,这个专门赠送我们市长。What to honor our visit this afternoon to San Francisco, we met a very special gift, and we would like to present to Mayor of San Francisco. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Council General Gao, who has been very much help to us during this visit. Council Member, or, uh, Council General, welcome. Well, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I wish to express my heartfelt thanks to, to Mayor, Mayor Edwin Lee, I know you are very busy. You are the busiest uh, man in, in this city and in the Bay Area. You have just passed uh, the budget, but you have lots of things on your agenda. Thank you for making your time free to hold this uh, event and also end of the Baysock. Forty years ago, I was a middle school student. The dramatic encounter of the two young table tennis players from China and America surprised me and shocked the world. Thanks to the strategic vision of the old generation leaders of our two countries, 
the small ball move the big ball. And this event and the later oncoming efforts paved the way to the rapid development of China-US relationship and change the world completely. Well, after decades of concerted efforts, the relation between China and America has developed into one of the most important, dynamic, and promising bilateral relations in the world, which benefits tremendously not only our two nations, but the world as a whole. To celebrate the 40th anniversary of the ping pong diplomacy, there will be several events in the coming days. I think myself that these events are magnificent. They will help people, especially of a younger generation, know more about the history of the development of China-US relations. They will help us review the achievements we have made in over the past 40 years and encourage us to do a better job in the future. These events will also reaffirm the key role which people-to-people -people exchange plays in the, promoting, in the promotion of mutual friendship and understanding and trust. I'm uh, very happy to see that both our leaders and our two countries give prominent place to exchanges between our peoples and more and more people in the San Francisco Bay Area getting closely involved in the exchanges on the grassroots between our two countries. I think all these events, all these exchanges will help build a solid cooperative partnership between China and America. And the coming events will contribute greatly to that endeavor. Well, once again, thank you for coming. And uh, again, welcome to the delegation headed by Vice Minister Tsai Zhenghua and all the players. Your presence today and tomorrow will undoubtedly provide an uh, enriching perspective to all celebrations. And uh, on this occasion, I also wish to express our heartfelt thanks on behalf of the Chinese Consular General in San Francisco to our friends from the city, from the city and the county, from BISOC, from the Foreign Mission Office, and from the Olympic Committee of America, and all the individuals and groups closely involved in the preparation and organization of this uh, grand event. And I wish all the celebrations and the greater success. And I invite you all tonight to see the demonstration between me, uh, Vice Minister, and the Mayor. And tomorrow, there will be another professional demonstration in the University of Stan uh, Stanford. Oh, thank you. And so now I'd like to introduce a veteran of the 1971 visit who will speak just a little while and then we're going to get to the exhibition. Um, so Judy Horfrost, Judy was a teenager when she went to China in 1971 and here she is now, welcome Judy. Thank you Anne for the introduction. Thank you Mayor Lee for your comments and your support of our sport diplomacy and for encouraging goodwill between the U.S. and China. Thank you, Mr. Consul General Gao, for welcoming us, for your hospitality, and for being here today to honor and commemorate ping pong diplomacy. As a member of the team that went to China in 1971, it's a thrill to be here once again being a ping pong diplomat and celebrating the 40th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy. Just like 40 years ago in China, and 39 years ago, with a reciprocal tour of the Chinese team to USA, table tennis has been a platform for events to promote peace between our countries. I am pleased that three veteran players from the 1972 reciprocal tour from China are here today. Long Guolang, 
and Cheng Waiying and Yang Jun. I'm, I'm very sorry for my Chinese pronunciation. <laughs> um, it's, it's such a pleasure to, to be with you again. And also my 1971 friends from um, our trip to China, um, my teammate George Braithwaite, and my, our official Tim Bogan. It's, I'm really glad that you're joining us here today too. Um, the 40th anniversary USA tour, which takes us from Milwaukee to San Francisco to Los Angeles, is a very special time for us veteran ping pong diplomacy players to share old pictures and stories and to continue our friendship while sharing the legacy of ping pong diplomacy with the younger generation. For the athletes four decades ago and now, ping pong diplomacy has always been about bringing people together to transcend political, national, and cultural barriers. I was just 15 years old when I went to China. I was a member of the US team for the World Championships in Nagoya, Japan. It was my first international competition, my first time outside of North America, and it was a really, really exciting World Championships um, because it was also the first time that the Chinese team was participating in the World Championships since the beginning of the Cultural Revolution in 1966. Um, you know, I really looked forward to seeing the Chinese team. Um, we, it was a, there was a great mystique since they had been gone from the table tennis scene for such a long time. And I, I still remember the first time I ever saw the Chinese team. Um, we were playing in the practice hall. Um, many countries, many tables, we were all playing. There's lots of, you know, the sounds of pink, the ball going. We're all chatting, we're all talking. And then all of a sudden, a huge hush came over the whole room. And I'm, we're looking around, and, and up there, the Chinese team walked in. And to us, they were the gods of table tennis. <laughs> I, I'll never forget. Um, and then the tournament went on for two weeks, and then near almost the last day of the tournament, we received the invitation to go to China. And uh, I mean, it was just an amazing surprise, and it was great excitement. And we were, I was really excited to go, of course. Um, and I was full of curiosity. I really didn't know what to expect. No American group had been to China in 20 years. And it was an incredible experience. If I had had any expectations, it would have far surpassed them. China in 1971 was a very different place from my life in USA in 1971. And also China in 1971 was very different from China now or China on my next trip, which was 25 years later. We were in China for eight very full days. Of course, the highlight of the trip was meeting Premier Cho Enlai at the Great Hall of the People. We also went to the Great Wall, um, and they closed the wall just for us that day. Other highlights for me were going to the Summer Palace, to a Chinese opera, to Xinhua Technical University, to an industrial exhibition, to a model commune, Ma Lu, near Shanghai. We ate great Chinese food and experienced the most wonderful hospitality. The Chinese girls taught me two songs. The East is Red and Sailing the Seas Depends on the Helmsman. We learned about China's communism and we read Mao's Little Red Book. We saw the political slogans and posters of Mao plastered on every building. And of course, we played friendship matches. Uh, we played in three cities, Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. And fortunately, very fortunately for me, the mantra over and over again was friendship first, competition second. <laughs> and I would like to brag here today that I won three matches out of four in China. <laughs> and it was only due, and I'm very well aware, it was only due to the philosophy friendship first, competition second. <laughs> I am also very grateful for the wonderful hospitality that the Chinese Association and the Chinese people have extended in my subsequent ping pong diplomacy visits to China. And I thank the Chinese Association and the people of China for keeping alive the spirit of ping pong diplomacy. Today we're celebrating ping pong diplomacy and the role it played in normalizing relations between USA and China. However, ping pong diplomacy does not just apply to the U.S. team's trip to China in 1971 and the Chinese team 
his trip to the USA in 1972. Um, ping pong diplomacy also applies to the role of sports in bringing people together in peaceful interactions. In sports, we have a common language. It transcends national boundaries and cultural differences. We gain perspective and we gain understanding and we learn appreciation for each other. Through the legacy of ping pong diplomacy, we carry forward to the new generations a new people's revolution. It is one that carries a worldwide message of peace, love, and cooperation. Thank you, Judy. And now I'd like to ask Mayor Lee to come back up to the uh, podium because we have some presentations to make to the delegation. Mayor Lee. And we're going to be helped, too, with the pronunciation of the names so that we make sure that we get them all correct. Lu Yuansheng, Lu Zida. Shishang Gen Ying Zeng Li Pian. Liang Ge Liang. Yang Jun. Zheng Huayi. Lai Jiaxing.
三甲。张一宁。And Zhang Yining is a three times Olympic gold medalist. Qi Shengnan. Dou Yujia, our hard-working photographer. Dou Yujia. Next, China Olympic Committee member Cai Zhenhua. 宋克勤。夏建成。Delegation, Judy Hoffrust. George Bresswhite. Team Borgen. So before the exhibition, I have one announcement to make, and I know Supervisor Marr will appreciate this. So this summer, in fact, in the month of September, uh, there will be uh, Sunday streets in San Francisco's Chinatown, the North Beach. And through the great work of our uh, Sunday streets program and Rose Pack and the Chinese Chamber, part of that Sunday street on September 18th will be a dedication to a citywide ping pong tournament that each district of our city will field the team of people to play, and we will pick up an, an alleyway in Chinatown. There'll be 11 uh, ping pong tables, and we will determine 
the best ping pong player from the city and county of San Francisco. How about that in September? <laughs> going to play and before we do I'd like to ask Peter Scudner to come up from United States Table Tennis Association Mayor Lee um, from the Table Tennis Association in the United States they have a gift for you um, that will help you uh, maybe this afternoon so Peter can you make this quickly Mayor Lee. Peter Scudner from Peter? US Table Tennis. on behalf of uh, USA Table Tennis we'd like to present to the mayor this uh, anniversary uh, paddle, uh, 40th anniversary ping pong diplomacy, July 1 to 8, 2011, Milwaukee, San Francisco, Richard Nixon Library from wow. USA Table Tennis and suitable for autographing on the back so you can catch some signatures while oh, you're thank here. Thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank, thank you for hosting us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now what we've all been waiting for, I think we're ready to play. Mayor Lee, are you ready? <laughs> and... Are you going to play? Yes. Okay, good. And then uh, Mr. Leung. And Mr. Leung, who is coming up here to play, is a veteran of the 1971 um, exhibit. Yeah. This is the future now, the future and the past.
Thank you all very much.